All right, what is up guys? No music right now because I do have a pretty crazy story to tell from last night. So me and my girlfriend decided to go to an Earl Sweatshirt concert. Uh, it was the NBA Leather Tour. Um, so I had Earl Sweatshirt, The Alchemist, and Boldy James, and then Action Bronson was supposed to be there. But uh, he couldn't come because he had to get his like wisdom teeth or removed or some something, some bullshit excuse, I don't know. That's what I heard at least, I don't know, but Action Bronson was supposed to perform. He wasn't there. Um, so we decided to go to the show very last minute. We knew it was going to happen for a few months, but we were like kind of on the fence of whether or not we wanted to go. Uh, so we waited last minute to buy our tickets. We literally bought our tickets the night before. Uh, I wish we did buy them months ago because the tickets were a lot cheaper. <laughs> uh months ago they were like probably 20 bucks and we bought them for i think 80 bucks canadian so yeah we ended up going the concert we were waiting in line and then just for fun my girlfriend dms boldy james and she says let us backstage just just for fun right um because like let's be honest here my girl's my girl's kind of a bad bitch and she's got a little bit of clout um so I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming she just thought it would be funny to DM him. Uh, so we're so we're at the show. We're watching. We're getting some. We're getting our drink on. You know, we're getting our smoke on. Whatever. We're watching that. We're watching Boldy James perform. So he performs for like an hour, and then um, there's like an intermission um, in the middle of the show. And then like during this intermission, Boldy James just finishes set. He DMs her back, and he's like, "Where are you at? Like, I'm I'm trying to see you, kind of thing." And like low key, like well not low key, it was super high key. Boldy James was definitely trying to my girlfriend, but uh, you know full dis full disclosure, I I think he, that's definitely what he was trying to do. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they're DMing back and forth, and he's like, "Yo, like shake your boyfriend, like come come hang out backstage. I got smoke and drink. We can go back to my hotel or whatever." And she's like, "No, like I'm not I'm not hanging out with you without my boyfriend. I'm not gonna do that." So, but she was like, I have some friends and they'll come through uh, so I can bring a bunch of girls. So he's like, I right, bet, like come backstage after the show, whatever. So show ends. It was a great show, by the way. The Alchemist, Earl Sweatshirt, Boldy, you guys all killed it. I, I will be honest, you guys all killed it. It was a great show. After the show, we're waiting outside. Uh, she's DMing Boldy still. And then, yeah, everyone's everyone left the venue. Most people are just standing outside talking, waiting for their rides or whatever they're doing. And then Boldy, like we can see Boldy in the back of the venue and he's like waving us in. So there's security guards standing out front, like stopping people from re-entering the venue after the show ended. Yeah, the security guards let us in because Boldy was, was letting us in. And so we go in the venue, the lights are on, like there's not many people in there. Earl is like out and he's like talking to some fans. And then Boldy takes us backstage. So Black Noise, that's Earl Sweatshirt's DJ. He was back there. Um, the Alchemist was back there. Both super cool guys. Um, super personable. Very nice, very nice guys. They're hanging out backstage with a, with a bunch of girls. I'm the only guy there that isn't wasn't one of the performers, essentially. Which was kind of kind of weird. It was just a bunch of girls, them. And then, yeah, so anyways, after a while, we're hanging out backstage. Boldy James is hanging out, too. And then uh, we go out to take a picture with Earl. You know, who wouldn't want a picture with Earl Sweatshirt? So this is that picture. Here's us with with the man himself. Soap Man 1. <laughs> there it is. Um, so, yeah, uh, after he's done talking to all his fans, very nice guy. The weird thing is he's like, he's super down to earth. He's very, he's very easy to talk to. I didn't feel uncomfortable around him. He's a, he's a very personable, very nice guy. But anyways, after that, Earl goes backstage. We're all chilling backstage. You know, like no offense, like I was going to say no offense, but I, I, I do kind of mean offense because I mean, you were trying to, trying to my girlfriend like low key. So Boldy James, you know, you make good music, but I don't mind calling you out because of that. But <laughs> This guy was super awkward. He kind of just sat in the back watching TikToks on the couch. He didn't really say anything to anyone. Uh, super awkward guy, but anyways, maybe he's just on something. I don't know. So yeah, we're all chilling out backstage. There's like Patron back there. There's a bunch of drinks, like food, snacks, stuff like that. We're all hanging out. 
Uh, me and Earl do a Patron shot together. That was kind of an interesting experience for sure. But so after, after backstage, Black Noise and Earl are trying to go out to a strip club, you know, as you do. Boldy James off. I don't know where he went. He was gone for like th three hours. I don't know. Eventually he did come to the strip club, but we're, we leave the show. We leave the venue. Um, Black Noise takes an Uber with a bunch of girls back to a hotel room. And then me and my girlfriend drive, meet them at the hotel room. And then we walk to the strip club and Earl is already there with some girls. And then it's Black Noise, my girl and her friends. Her friends met us at the hotel. So we're all in this booth at a strip club now, getting getting up, you know, as you do. Uh, Earl is ordering drinks for everyone. He's just this man. <laughs> this man. I looked over at one point and I saw he's like, he's like paying six hundred dollars on, on his on his debit card, like it like it isn't nothing. He's just going crazy, just buying everyone drinks. Uh, there's strippers everywhere, you know, just normal strip club things. And yeah, so that's that's basically the story of how I uh, partied at a strip club with Earl Sweatshirt. It was uh, it was it was pretty it was a pretty crazy night for sure. Um, yeah, after that, after the strip club, you know, we all got really drunk and then everyone kind of parted ways. Uh, you know, I spoke, I said my respects to Earl. I'm a big fan of his music. So, yeah, that was essentially that story. Pretty pretty wild night. Yeah, Earl was just dropping racks, man. It was it was crazy. This man ordered so many green tea shots, which I didn't even know were a thing. He ordered so many of them, I, I can't even count how much I drank last night. It was ridiculous. My friend, where are you going? Oh my god. I like how this guy's name is just Sion Philippines. Like you'd think it'd be like best Sion Philippines or something like that. But it's just Sion Philippines. Holy dude. That is a lot of damage. Jeez. Dude, what is this, man? <laughs> okay, dude, you're so good. Good job, guys. Oh! You, you love to see it. My pee pee dribbled a little bit of pre in there. I won't lie. Yes, sir. Nice. 
I get some assistance or what? <laughs> okay. Fight is another breathe, bro. Scion Philippines is it's not performing. I expected more out of Scion Philippines. Oh my god. Didn't work white Ben Hari. Alright, good game.